clock is ticking for Congress to pass a spending bill to avoid a government shutdown. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who is facing challenges within his own party, outlined a new plan that he says is confident will help end the standoff once the House returns Tuesday. But leaders of the largest federal employee labor union are less optimistic and warn the writing is on the wall, they say. On Friday, the Biden administration directed federal agencies to begin preparations for a shutdown. Christina Ruffini is at the White House this morning. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. As you can see, we're getting some of those effects from Ophelia behind me, but most of the focus is on the storm on Capitol Hill. Now, with news that lawmakers were going home this weekend, instead of staying to work out a deal, President Biden took to social media to say, last time there was a government shutdown, 800,000 Americans were furloughed or worked without pay. But enjoy your weekend. The federal government is bracing for a funding lapse. Warning federal employees that if Congress can't strike a deal before October 1st, they could see a pause in their paychecks. We still remain hopeful, although the writing's on the wall. I believe we have a majority here and we can work together to solve this. The House will be in order. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has been fighting with hardliners in his own party, trying to get them to pass a stopgap measure until they can work out a larger spending bill. I still believe if you shut down, you're in a weaker position. You need the time to fund the government while you pass all the appropriations. So Earlier this week, a group of House Republicans blocked a short-term funding measure for the Pentagon. I, I don't mind telling you I gasped a little just a, a bit ago when I heard that, that, that there was a rule failure. It concerns me that we are dysfunctional, that the House is struggling to pass really the most basic obligation we have. This is not something we can fix. The White House says President Biden helped negotiate a budget compromise on the debt ceiling earlier this year, and that this time it's up to Republicans in the House. The best plan is to not, is to not have a shutdown. The best plan is for House Republicans to stop their partisan political play and not do this to hurt Americans across the country. There are roughly 2.2 million federal employees. Some might be furloughed temporarily, and other essential workers will have to keep coming in, but without a paycheck. Nancy? Christina Ruffini, thank you.